Hi everyone! Today I wanted to do a video testing out the new Charlotte Tilbury... Where is it? I want to test out the new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation. Um, this is her new long wearing full coverage foundation. I really wanted to try this and also her new under eye corrector. So we're going to try out these new products and do a full face of glam. So let's get into it. Okay, so you guys obviously saw my full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup bib. If you didn't, go check it out. Um, at that time, she didn't have a full coverage foundation, so I was using a more natural foundation. So I'm super excited that she came out with something full coverage. And also that shade was like, I don't know how many shades too light for me. So this one I got in the shade 8 Warm. There is like a cool eight warm. So make sure when you guys are looking for your color that you know that it's not just numbers, but there's also warm and cool tones. I really like this packaging. It's glass, it has this rose gold cap, it has a pump, we love a pump. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and do a few pumps of this on here first. Let's see. Ooh, she is full coverage. Mmm, it smells so good. It's not a strong scent, it's kind of like a little bit of a floral scent. I'm living for this because I love Charlotte Tilbury's brand so much and you know me, I need a full coverage foundation. I can't with a little tinted moisturizer or like a light coverage. We don't do that around here. I'm loving the coverage. Obviously this color works a lot better for me than before. This blends so easy. I love the smell, I love the color, I love the coverage. So excited, yes. This looks so good and so full coverage and I didn't even use that much. This is just one layer. So obviously if there were some areas you were struggling in and you need more coverage, you can add another pump. But this looks flawless, honestly. It even makes my pores look smaller. Obviously you know I don't use a primer. Wow, wow. It's full coverage but it looks like skin. I almost want to say that I love this more than my Too Faced Born This Way foundation I wear every day, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm going to see how it wears with everything else um, and also throughout the day, but I'm so excited about this. Like, <sighs> So I'm super excited about this. This is her Under Eye Magic Vanish Corrector. I got the shade 1 Fair, and it is so cute because it's like a little miniature of the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, which you guys know I love so much. And I just love this packaging. It looks like a powder, but it's a cream. So let's use our finger to put this under our eyes. I really, really love a corrector. It sucks that it's an extra step, but honestly, if you have a dark under eyes like me, it helps so much, especially in photos. Like, you'll really see the difference in putting this down first before your concealer. It pulls out this little ridge area. I used a corrector for my wedding makeup video and it looks so, so, so good. That was the Chanel corrector. So I wanna see if I like this one. It feels really, really creamy. I think you guys can probably see the difference. Um, it doesn't look like it brings out my texture under my eyes too much. And make sure you're just focusing it on this area. We don't need to like highlight the whole area. If you need to blend it, you can, but for the most part, just try to apply it right in here. This looks so good. I'm so excited about this. So let's see how it's going to wear under our concealer. Of course, this is um, the Light Beige Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced. Maybe I can wear a little less concealer today than I normally do. Probably not though. <laughs> I love concealer. It's like the best thing. I feel like it makes the biggest difference. Obviously foundation is important, but concealer is like, I'm super picky. I'm of course gonna use my Fenty sponge to blend this out. I wanna see if it's gonna look like brighter or more flawless than when I just wear the concealer alone. Wow, I'm like really happy with this. I feel like everything looks so good so far. The foundation, the concealer. 
I think that that corrector did do something. I feel like I'm a little brighter than I normally am, but I'm not sure. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you think you can see a difference. I really like it. I really like the texture. And like I said, if you take photos, then you'll see a difference for sure. Today I'm gonna use my Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in the shade Spotlight. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Cream Highlighter. I always use this and the contour wand. Um, I switch off between a few, but I figured since I'm testing her foundation and corrector, then I should use all my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products that I own. I use most of them daily, but sometimes I don't feel it's necessary to do the liquid highlight. And sometimes I use the Fenty Truffle Stick rather than the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. This is so pretty, but I recommend wearing this when you're not gonna need to set your face with powders because then you really can see it. When you set it with the powder, um, it's like not as cute and glowy as it is by itself. Okay, and then we're gonna do the contour wand. This is a shade medium dark. It's also a liquid. I like to go up pretty high when I'm contouring with like a liquid contour because it can actually spread sometimes and you don't want it to go too low because that defeats the purpose of looking a little more chiseled. This looks so flawless and so good. It's like a good full coverage but super skin-like. I really love it. I hate that I have to set everything with powders because it looks just so natural, so good. So for our under eyes, of course, we're gonna do the MAC Studio Fix in N4 and my Morphe M554 brush to set under the eyes. And then today I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flaws Finish Powder in the shade two to set my entire face. Obviously well loved, I use this in every video. I wish the pan was bigger, like I run out of this so quickly. This looks so good, wow. They work really well together. Next, we're gonna do our bronzer. We're using the MAC Gimme Sun. We're also gonna use the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab. It's the JH02 bronzing brush. Next, we're gonna go in with the Cheek Leaders palette. We're gonna take the shade Hula, the bronzer, and I'm just gonna go down the sides of my nose with a fluffy brush. I never used to be into contouring my nose and then since I've been filming, I've been doing it in every video and sometimes I really hate how it looks. So I'm just gonna add a little warmth with my blending brush and just go down the sides and then just bake a little bit to kind of like snatch it, make it more narrow. But I just wanna warm it up. I feel like this looks more natural then like doing a cream contour, a powder contour. And I'm gonna bake with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna take it on my Morphe Flat Edge Sponge. All this bakes, we're gonna take the Cheek Leaders Palette and use the shade Cookie to highlight. Just a tiny bit. A little tap goes a long way with this highlighter. Then for blush, we're gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury Blush in Ecstasy. I'm gonna use my MAC blush brush. I really love how pretty this blush always comes out. I put on kind of a lot because it fades into my skin quickly. Then I'm gonna clean under my blush with the Flawless Finish Powder we used to set our face today. And again, I'm gonna use the Morphe Flat Edge. And then just wipe that away. I'm gonna now wipe away the bake as well. See, I feel like this is just a lot more natural and still ties the face together and slims it out a little bit. Then I'm gonna take a small pencil brush and do the highlight down the center of my nose. When you use a small pencil brush, it makes the highlighter like really slim down the center and then your nose looks like more snatched and more narrow instead of applying with your finger. And then I just like to blend it out with my finger so it's a little more natural. Okay, so to finish up the face, we're gonna set with the Morphe setting spray. 
I feel like our face looks so freaking good right now. Like I'm so obsessed. What do you guys think? Let me know down below if you like the new foundation and corrector. Okay, so let's do our brows. We're of course using Anastasia Brow Definer in Soft Brown. For a second, I forgot that I wasn't doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. I was like, wait. This isn't Charlotte Tilbury. I don't wanna use too many products of Charlotte Tilbury. On a daily basis, I do use a lot of her products. And when I'm trying new products from a brand, I like to use the same brand because I feel like all their products work really well together. I feel like a lot of people watch but don't comment. So if you're watching this, leave me a comment and let me know what type of videos you guys wanna see. Like, what type of videos do you guys like watching towards the end of the year? I know personally, I love watching vlogs, and I love watching Vlogmas. Like, I'm so into seeing, like, people's everyday life rather than makeup tutorials, but let me know what you guys want to see. Now that our brows are filled in, we're going to set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Okay, so for our eyes today, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. I've really been loving this palette lately. I feel like they're so good for fall, like all these nice warm tones. Yes, give it to me. For our crease, I'm gonna go with the shade Privacy. I used this palette in my Cranberry Fall video and I really, really loved it. Urban Decay has good shadows. I feel like they come out with like really good palettes that have like one theme, like this one. It's all pinks, it's all warm. I really like that. This is so good, like a deep purple with like a little bit of a gray tone. I'm still a little sick, so my eye keeps switching. I hate that. So next in the crease, I'm gonna go in with the shade Devilish. It's more of like a cranberry tone. I'm gonna use a little bit of a smaller crease brush. This looks so good. Am I the only one that loves how like a blank lid looks? Sometimes I don't even like putting shadow on the lid because it looks so good with like a blown out crease. I love how this looks. So for our lid, let's use the shade Turn On. It's like a little bit of like a grayish nude tone. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just gonna use a flat brush. Cause I really like how the lid looks a little lighter. But I just wanna put something on there. Okay, so let's do the bottom lash line now. I'm gonna go in with this shade Devilish, which was the second one we used in our crease. Just do a little on the outer corner. And then I'm gonna take the shade Caution, which is just like a light wheat color, and I'm gonna just blend that out. Next, I'm gonna take this little flat edge brush and use the same crease shade and just do it closer to the lash line. Okay, we're gonna take the shade Cookie from the Cheek Leaders palette and then highlight the inner corners. I'm just gonna use a little pencil brush for this. Okay, now for the fun part, we're gonna do our eyeliner with the Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick. I always say, oh, I'm gonna make it so thin and so small and then I have to even them out and they become like thick, so. I'm not even gonna say what kind of eyeliner I'm gonna do. Okay, after making them thicker 12 times, we're done. So now for mascara, we're gonna use the Lancome Hypnos Drama. My bottom lashes, by the way, this is my MAC Extended Play that I always use. I do one eye at a time because when the Lancome gets on my bottom lashes, I need to do the mascara on the bottom before it dries so it doesn't dry clumpy. For lashes, I'm going to use my House of Lashes Iconics. Okay, so our lashes are on and all we have left to do are the lips. So, of course I'm gonna use my favorite Charlotte Tilbury combo. We're gonna use the Iconic Nude Lip Cheat Lip Liner.
Then we're gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate Lipstick. I'm just darkening up the outer edges with Total Taupe from Make It Forever. Then lastly, I'm going to do the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fussy because I want to just add like a nice shine and a pink tone. Okay, this is the final look, so let me know what you guys think. I think the foundation was so beautiful. I love it so much, especially now that my whole face is done. I feel like it's such a flawless finish, like it says. It does hide some of my pores. The color is good, the scent is nice, and I think it just looks super, super good. It's nice and full coverage, and I only did one layer, so you can build this up. And I thought the under eye corrector worked really well. If you guys want to wear less concealer or you don't want to wear concealer on an off day, a corrector is a really good option. So I hope that you like this look. Leave me a comment down below and like the video if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching.